Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Road to 56 mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. German Reich Lover. But I don't really love the German Reich because we're getting rid of a certain Adolf guy and having the Big Daddy basically die. The Big Daddy has been in the figurehead for Germany and his politics for several years now. A distinct lack of strong successors in the NSDAP make him a prime target to anyone trying to stop German uh, ideology currently. But the Big Daddy's gone. The double S troops and loyal army units have managed to kill or capture all the traitor commandos. I have been able to fully contain the situation, but the big daddy was found dead at the hands of the conspirators. The surviving conspirators will stand trial for the heinous crimes, but for now a new leader is needed. Who shall be the next big daddy? Herr Himmler? Or Papa Papa Goring? Um, I prefer Prince of Terror, honestly, but we're gonna go this guy because he gives more stability. Take advantage of the political turmoil. Now that the Adolf is dead, it'd be much easier to stoke the fuzz of instability in the all right. Well, look at this guy. Famous aviator. That's cool. Um, Turkish Straits remain... Oh, they remain demilitarized. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, basically, we're going to be going communist in this run. D Democracy in Road to 56. Also, uh, yeah, it's alright. But, yeah, this this is the Road to 56 focus tree. Not the vanilla or even DLC focus tree. Because I don't think I've ever seen this one before. But I wanted to go with uh, communist because... When's the last time I played communist Germany? It's been a long time. Oh, oh, they got rid of... Okay, this is much smaller because the focus tree actually got rid of, like, the denounced the Treaty of Versailles one or the monarchy path, so that's actually kind of cool. So, yeah, I like that a lot. It makes it look smaller, so it looks like there's not very much. There might not be a whole ton, but it's it's very nice, actually, with the way the, I guess, Paradox has set it up, so very awesome. Subs, well, these guys are probably not going to do very well, but whatever, you know, we're here for a good time, not a long time. God, no wonder I keep drinking all those Red Bulls. Anyways, uh, we need more command power. Other than that, true Germany. Oh, remilitarize the Rhineland. Maybe reverse if you can front back down. And if France becomes communist under our ally, we won't generate well tension. For the get rid of Adolf plan, space will into a three-way civil war finishes uh, development. Three-way civil war. Oh, poor working conditions. Um, anything else here? Spend the Schwabian shale oil. I might just cancel these. I'm not even making millies right now at all, so we'll see. Give it a couple more days. You know what? I kind of want to remilitarize the Rhineland, anyways. Repeal the Reichstag fire decree. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Of course, we're on a historical here, and I don't know what's going to happen when you go to Road to 56. Anything could happen, so it's all the right of Senate in France. So remilitarize it. It's a German territory. Anyone going to do anything? No? Actually, the MFO bills. Um, we lose political power. Get 5% consumer goods. That's not bad to keep right now. Yeah, as much as I want to cancel it, 5% more consumer goods is not bad to keep. But we'll see how much we actually... Oh, we removed the access too. Yeah, get political turmoil. <laughs> Research and carries is Germany. Kind of weird early on. But we already have 5 research slots, which is really nice. Um, anything else here? Grab back. Flamethrowers are nice. Flam and Vefa. Anything else here? No. Good. Good. Very good. You go. Well. Right wing victory in the French Republic, I guess. Hopefully they bring back some bit of the French Republic. We'll do a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. And then repeal the Reichstag fire decree. The Reichstag fire decree, a law essentially banning communism, should be repealed to uh, enable our naturally leftist people to express their interests for the betterment of society or the country. Yeah, sounds good to us. Along with the Soviets, as much as I'd like to do that, oh, it's the French Civil War. Um, we're not going to because I don't know which way the Soviets are going. So we're going to go push re world revolution. Well, the Soviets are mighty. Their form of socialism is corrupt and counterproductive to the purpose of communism. We must show that the world how to adopt a proper form of communism, one with emphasis on the people. Renounce Belgian protection. Do you think I can beat Poland now? Oh, again, no. Can I actually beat them up now? Hmm. A free Poland? Actually, with this path, anti-fascist volunteers. I'm going to oppose a democracy. Research another research slot. Wow. Polish Republic, daily communist influence, our old nemesis. Or we focus on the threat here, but requires this one. Which is fine. Focus on the fascist threat. We create the Leninist Pact. German ultimatum. Oh, but actually, if you go down this way, you go here. Okay, focus on the fascist threats for the revolution. So you go down here, you go down here, and you say go neutrality, anyways. 
Interpol stance, Benelux Alliance, cooperation with the Soviets, probably not invite Poland. I kind of just kill Poland anyways, because you can. Because um, resource-wise, they don't have very much, do they? The Dutch would be better, so you can get some rubber down there. But then we might go to war with Japan. This might be a bad idea. This is probably a really bad idea. We might not actually get there, but we'll see. You never know. MFO bills do. We don't get that much book of every day anyway, so. That kind of sucks. That kind of actually really sucks. Basic medium tanks, not bad. Some of that. Actually, I might try. Uh, I probably don't need extra armor for now. Ah, I do anyways, because again. Well, the French Republic is back. With deflation. Interesting. 16 days left, not bad. Um, anti sub specialist. Well, he's okay. He's not great. But yeah, post world revolution. Yeah. Popular front victory in France and the rehabilitation of the military. The fascists turned the German military into a backward and corrupt bureaucracy. Must reverse these issues in our new military. Alright, so we've gone ahead and done collective in collectivized industry. As an extension of our industrialization efforts, we should gradually collectivize our industries and ensure they operate at peak efficiency. And now we're going to re rebuild the military as we are actually in the middle of the Spanish Civil War. Establish an NVA, we get more manpower, which is nice. And then we get more anti-fascist volunteers, which is also quite nice as well. Um, it takes quite a while to get through all this stuff, but, uh, you know, it's okay. Um, I might go ahead after those two. Naval rearmament wouldn't be bad. Three more dockyards, but begin depression recovery. The Weimar Republic's treatment of the Great Depression made the economy even worse. We should repair the damage done by of the enemies of the Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany. And we are led by Ernst Tailman here, too. So, as you can see, we, like I said, we are down here in Spain, helping out the Spanish Republic for now, because no one likes fascists. And can we just go do that? Oh, they found us. And we're doing the whole demand trade thing. Every time we do this, it doesn't work, though. It doesn't work very well. There you go. And these guys are cut off. But we, so the ministers we get, which with the focus tree, part of the focus tree disappeared. Um, uh, like some of the focus disappeared, but with the advisors, you should be able to disappear some advisors there. But um, so I kind of like we don't need to see Martin Borman here. We don't need to see Jacob or Jacob Kaiser, which would be kind of cool. But yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if we could just get like didn't have to see them because it doesn't make any sense why I could still see them. Since they're gone, but we get 1.62 anyways. I canceled the MEFO bills. We're doing okay for now on factories. We're doing okay. Just okay. Not great, but okay. Good, they moved in finally. I'll help out here too. Hey, who is this? Luxembourg. Oh. Alright. Oh, and you feel getting happy in 1937, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. We're going to start really hammering home industry and whatnot, so. Um, research speed would be nice, but obviously it's not time for that yet. We knew the Rome Protocols. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fascists just doing fascist things. Actually, which way did Austria go? Federal state, are they still on the line? No, they're, they are fascist. And Hungary is authoritarian, so. Ah, we can go to war with for Poland as well, too. Not bad. Deploy heavy AA, it's not bad. Let's get rid of this group first, and then we'll attack Poles. Oh, we have a railway gun too, that would be nice. Not sure what we could actually do here, but we'll see. And we'll need more fuel. Go ahead, go there. We have a war goal until 30th of March. Raid is nice, good. Get some radar as well. Holy crap, this is taking a while to do. Well, we have 100 air XP. I think we're going to max out cast first. I just want some really cheap, cheap cast. Airborne insertions. Oh. Continuous strike. Some defense. Steel wings, steel hearts. Oh. Bad for interdiction. Dive bombing. I love dive bombing. Branch independence. Spirit. That's interesting, too. Sky soldiers. Naval liaison. I'll go with you, definitely. All right. War economy, anyways. Nice. Well, let's see if we can actually do anything here. 
And like earlier, let's go ahead and save just in case. This is where we get really close to uh, Papa, Papa Stalin, yeah. We'll have a nice big old border with Papa Stalin. Alright. Guaranteeing the independence of the Polish Republic. Danzig joins, joins the Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany. Are spies in Danzig and the local government will back a cause? Alright then. Well, okay, we'll see what happens. If we do well, we do well, we don't do well. And we'll probably take quite a few casualties here just because we're really not ready for a war like this at all. So, I'm not super concerned if we don't do that well, but you know. Rehabilitate the military. Uh, volunteers. NVA, the NVA. Establish the National Volks Army as a new conscripted and well-trained military who gives us a significant advantage over our enemies. The most important thing right now is to be able to not lose this group here. Pursue interventionist policies. Oh crap. Oh, I forgot about America doing that type of stuff. Just don't. Well, I guess we do have Danzig right now too. Oh, we got cut off. You know if that's the case here. What is this? Reserve transfer. Enforce defense. You go right here. Break them out. This is not good. So we, we got to break over here too. Ooh, actually subs. My bad. Didn't mean to lose this pocket here. Consolidate everything we've got, maybe. And we're doing well in the center. Like they're they're really wanting to close off this pocket here. You hold, you back up. You get down here. I'll go right there too. Go straight here. Crap, 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 crap. Continue to force defense. And let's hold. Hold, hold, hold. Ah, factory's good. Uh I can use a few more tanks, I guess. Probably need a couple more guns. Yeah. Carry dive bombers. I'm going crazy with whatever I want to research. Got a hold. All right, I'll grab that too. Oh, 15 more organizations, pretty good too. Yeah, they're definitely trying to close this pocket off. Out of everything else. Come on, come on, come on! God dang it! Oh, you son of a rock sucker! Go, 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 go! You're not gonna lose it. You're not, we're not gonna lose it. You're gonna get in there. Come on. 37, give me fuel. Oh, could have gotten right there too, but whatever. Right there, right there, right there. Come on. We okay, we got him. Okay, my bad. Oh my god. That was so bad of me. We broke free. We have infantry specialist, um, infantry expert. We're gonna go with. Uh, that's not bad. I'm gonna wait to see first. Where we're gonna go with that. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for both these guys. Uh, infantry is mostly just gonna be holding the entire time, but still, whatever. You guys gonna focus in the north now. We're a pretty weak Germany, I'll be honest. Uh, that's what you mean. Got some more fuel. Go ahead, we can. Global order. Huh. That's all. War propaganda. Yeah, let's get that one too. Fall of Warsaw is good. Jaeger, not problem. Don't really care. Send stuff here. Ooh, 50% bonus. That's okay. Industrial re requisition. Eh? Not bad. Um, I do want to make a cast very, very good, so we'll see him in just a little bit. Um. Fifty thousand for something three thousand. Not bad. Help him out here. I, by help him out, kill him off basically. All right. 
You'd say, happy guys. So the rest of the fuel for the planes. Nice. And begin your depression recovery. <coughs> this is a really good for arm XP. And air XP, too, don't get me wrong. Hope this doesn't come back and bite us in the butt. That'd be really bad if it did. Food machine tools, not bad. So 37 only May. Nice. Get more fuel. My god, we're gonna need so much fuel, it's not even funny. Bilstock. Hey, we got, um, I'm sorry that took so long. And took a ton of casualties. But, that gives us way more room to move. Way, 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 way more room to move. Oh. What are the back drone protocols? We guarantee each other. Huh. Well, we have a puppet. I mean, we're 51% world tension. What's the UK up to? They've already fallen. They have no one around them. Belgium. Oh, do we get... Oh, actually made another heavy cruiser. Not bad. Look at that. Do that. Um, yeah. Overall, not bad. That took... That's just a lot of casualties, though, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Honestly, with infantry, I'm probably just going to have you do this one. Just go and do these two. Five more entrenchments. Super strong. I'm not sure who I want to take out next, though. I don't trust the French now, so especially since we're communist, but still. Maybe the Dutch? Maybe? Also with you guys, sitting over here. Stolstruppen? Mm. You guys are there too. Yeah. You guys stay there. But we do have this division, the Stolstruppen. Motorized special forces, so they're not bad. Motorized rock troops. No, just, just you. We'll see what we can do. Maybe, maybe we can do something. Maybe we can't. I can't believe we almost lost all those divisions. Also, we're going to go back to Heinz Guderian. And they're doing it quite well down here. Nice. Oh, we sent three divisions. Oh. We said Rommel, but... Whatever. There you go. 218 now. Yeah. Five bombers. Uh, jet fires. Also, I did send. Before, I didn't even show you guys, but I forgot about it. I sent volunteers to Ethiopia to upset the Italians, but that was off. That was really before we even started recording dive bombers. Oh, we can go even higher for reliability. Oh, that's nice. Production costs. Everything else goes up. That's okay for now. Dive bombers. Where dive bombers at? Not bad. 15, 15 is 5. Hey, it's not bad now. Using all those extra resources. German political turmoil. Oh, look at that stability. So nice. Um, honestly, with you guys, I'm going to take this off. And I want to replace this with... Uh, well, save it for now. We'll replace it with military police later. But, uh, so, an oversight. Local police force. Harsh quotas. Not bad. Nice. Very nice. What are guys aren't here yet... Japan is not a war with China. Ah, good. Two twenty. Uh, I'll save for now. Led by Model. Let's focus on this area first. Nice. Yeah. Train the Dutch, kill the Dutch. No, that's gonna be 185. I doubt we'll be able to do that, but we'll see. No need to get involved just yet. Let the air take care of itself. Now, Army 5, huh? Important economic positions. The only way for the Soviet the Socialist Republic of Germany to recover from the Great Depression entirely is to ensure that we have a united economy. We can facilitate this by putting a president to the Reichsbank and our Minister of Economics. Um, yeah, take it off. There we go. Power of the King's Party. Universal Pair Exhibition. Not bad. You do anything now? Maybe? Oh, it's Mountain Spell. It's gonna suck hard. Circuit 3 is not bad. Get some 
uh, extraction. Um, steel, aluminum, I'm not too concerned about that. Get some more organization for our guy. Start working on some of that stuff in 37. Um, recovery rate, it's not bad. Not super important. Let's go up to the military, please, because we could use that immediately anyways. Ah. Good. Call it to aid Dutch workers, yeah. Pretty cool. Not sure why I'm spending all this political power for them, but whatever. Ah, got him. Nice job, guys. 100 more. Important economic positions. We have two appointment positions for the offices of the Reichsbank and Reichsminister. Of course, anti-fascist volunteers, increasing a large part of the populace will help or simply halt fascist aggression. Um, one of the possible appointees, Heil Malz Schock, is very good at working with the Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany's companies and developing civilian infrastructure, but this lack of loyalty to the NSDAP and disdain for the military spending makes him a very worrying choice. Our second possible appointee, Walter Funk, is very loyal to the Nazi party and a significant military expenditure proponent. To make any reasonable progress with the German recovery, you must choose one of the two men to lead Nick economy. Schock? Funk. Give more political power. I do like that a lot. But he's a loyal na Nazi, so we can't choose him. So we gotta go with Schock. We have to. So what the Volks? Good mind, Schock. Not bad. Reichsautobahn, Steelworks, Reichsbahn, Reinhardt Program, Total War, Expand Military Industries. What the fuck? Get another research that would be very strong. Let's see. Autarky. You get more research efficiency gain, military factory construction speed, steel mill construction speed as well. As well as slightly more population, less construction speed, more war support, military factory construction speed, or technocrats. Um, you have seats in the government. Honestly, with the, you don't get as much population, but autarky sounds like more of a Nazi thing. Of course, I mean not really. I mean, it's, Soviet Union does can do this as well. Uh, research wise, I'm not going to be worried about it too much. This is more of the German side. So while we go the other way some of the time, side with the technocrats. If we want to have an economically powerful Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany, we must side with the technocrats. Or, focus on the fascist threat, spread the revolution. It sounds like more fun to spread the revolution. Um, we can just take out Austria anyways, and deal with these guys. We'll fight them anyways. Influence? Doesn't sound too bad. Like, everyone more red. Our old nemesis. UK. You know, we get two war goals against these anyways, but, you know. Front against fascism? Well, the French... Which, which, which direction did the French actually go? They went with democratic right, I guess. Okay, well, whatever. Um, for us here, I definitely want to go Owen Rommel. Uh, and this guy, too. We need to modernize air support as well. We definitely need to. Some attacking criminal. Um, I definitely want to grab the guy... Which dude? Economic reform. Oh, gosh. I think next, yeah, I think I like this. Oppose a democracy, yeah. Focus on the fascist threat. Of course, we can just do progress cults as well. Having well-trained and elite scientists find out about the government will give us a way to advance our scientists to the next level. Sounds like fun. Um, there you go. Have fun. Motorized, nice. You guys are doing a great job here. As you should. These Panzer Divisions are not great. Let's at least give them a little more organization with a little bit more motorized. Motorized shock troops would be fun though, but whatever. Yeah, light recon, uh, armored recon companies. Not very good anymore. They used to be very good, but they're so bad now. If anything, this lowers defense by quite a bit. You barely get any more armor. But I'm going to do it anyways, just for role playing purposes. Uh oh. Anarchist uprising? Well, they're anarchists. They're not actual communists, so. God dang. The oh, we're not recovering anything. Oh, that sucks. Your processing's nice. Um, let's all head to time. Engineering. 37, of course. Get some more artillery. When in doubt, artillery comes out. Opponents is learning a lot. We might have just nothing but a tank army someday. We'll see. <laughs> when we get there. Yeah, you get some goods. Yeah, that'd be very good. I'll do that. Nice. Beautiful. I love it. Recovery. Plus point two on plan offenses. Good 
Rehabilitated military infrastructure. Well, let's see what you can do. Is anyone guaranteeing their independence yet? Okay, so they are guaranteeing their independence. Um, what if we cancel that? And we have this as well. They have to spend a lot of political power for that. Carlos got in a war. It's fine, whatever. How are they recovering? Weather's just god awful. La Coruña? Let's come up here and hang out. That's all I can really ask. Spanish gold reserves. It's been some time since the German gold reserves arrived in the country and have continued to send apple aid to the Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany without payment. Members of the government begin to comment on the farcical state of these affairs. Serve these gold as payment. Spanish victory would be payment enough. Yeah. Take it. Nice. Anti-fascist volunteers. Roger Skoll. Followed up with import Soviet scientists. Bringing scientists in the Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany from the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, whether legal or not, will push our scientific advances even further. Yes. Wow. Ten? Eleven divisions? All trapped and encircled? Oh, say it so. Die bombers. Let's max it out again. Nice. Need some more rubber, though. Definitely need some of this. Beautiful, my friends. Back to... Oh, okay, so back to form... Roman actually, been I should have attacked him earlier, then. Whatever. Uh, that's a lot of hills and mountains here. Not good for us. Not good. Former Czechoslovak president dies. Alright. Well, that sucks. Well, I guess technically we want to go to war with these guys. All we have to do is have one little front here and just kind of hold the line. What's Romania up to? Huh. huh. Deference. Backbone of the party. Well, it doesn't look very good, does it? Oh, wow. That's not bad manpower mount. Very nice. But Tando Tuba leaves a comment turn. Whoa. Wasn't planning on seeing that one today. Casper. Mil motives of Belgium. So now they're guaranteed as well, it's fine, whatever. I might just seriously go to war with these guys. The Utland? Uh, no. We're running out of people to go to war with. Lithuania. What are these guys up to as well? Industry. Of course, okay, so they might stay Soviet. So just because. No, they. This had, they had the DLC tree. They might stay Soviet, so maybe still, but you never know. So basically, I think the, really. 180 days? We could try them. Max, maybe. Won't cost us hopefully too much fuel, but you never know. Uh, go that one because I can't. Excavation over here. Max factors in estate. Age generation chance. Some more recovery rate for everybody. Um, what else? Obviously, I'm not playing very optimally. So, but whatever. I don't really care. I'm playing to have fun. Because when's the last time I actually had fun? That's a good question. But, research slot. Imports will be scientists. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> and then we'll go with we could really use more civvies more millies too we could use a lot more of everything really so technocrats that would be good to do then we want to have economically powerful Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany must we'll side with the technocrats yeah this is not bad um, once we finish that one civvy we'll, we'll go down to one civvy production so let's go ahead and start doing that. It's fine. Get some refineries because, my God, we're going to need some refineries for realsies. Oh, just go ahead. You guys are good enough. It doesn't matter at this point. Hey, good job, guys. Is anyone else at war? 
Spanish mob war, Chi not Spanish, Chinese mob war. Oh. Well, what's Japan up to? Oh, they went authoritarian. Dang it. Mexico's killing itself. Well, that's pretty normal, though. Democratic authoritarian. We don't like either one, do we? Well, we like you. They like. They hate us. So. Authoritarians? Just because they hate us? Okay, never mind. Okay. Doesn't matter who we kill as long as we get experience in the end. That's all I care about. Now, are they going to actually guarantee Austria's independence? No. For now. Get rid of some cities, too. Not bad here. Carry dive bombers are fine. Artillery, gonna need more, gonna need more trucks, probably. You need way more fighters, way more dive bombers. Mini bombers are okay. Armored cars are okay. We got a five here, but, but put it at the bottom. I'm not sure what the difference is. Mortars versus railway guns. A lot more tanks, too. I've been about the king the sale of sale of airplanes. Please go ahead. For fighter production. Bombers. We have some bombers. Crushing Austrian nationalism. Yeah, death to fascists. There you go. Oh, battleship, no, at least. Because we are trying to build a carrier here, too. Torpedo bombers. It was this one. Huh. Carrier fighters. Torpedo bombers. Uh. Sure? I don't know, we'll double check that one later. I'm glad we're in war economy still, though. It's nice. This is this figure, it's not bad. Union boss is not great. And all we get is like more daily economy support. Why do you still get democracy support? <clears throat> Army maneuvers. Yeah, I want this guy, but we'll see. Completed mobile warfare. We'll see if we can actually or not. Uh, recovery is not bad. Army focus. Air reformers, okay. Can't do goring, obviously. Can't. Ooh, eh, naval stuff. Uh, that's all right. Well, I guess we get doing it because we can. Why not? That's good. Get da, da, da. maritime bombers. Yeah, we need some of these guys too. Nice. Just hold here. Six research slots. Jesus Christ. That's so nice. Happy 1938, though, everybody. So the technocrats. Beautiful. And then we're going to race towards another research slot, too. Give the technocrats seats in the government. Give the technocrats seats in the government will allow them to further their policies more efficiently or effectively. Beautiful. It's nine. Five. Ooh, more railway guns. Nice. Hey, everyone gets a railway gun. Naval XP, it's fine. Land auction. Oh, we're going to go with Blitzkrieg. Totally. All right. Brinkmanship, ideological struggle, cultural norms, um, hierarchy, revolutionary mind. It's not bad. Melting pot, the greater good. It's not bad either. Total equality, enforced patriarchy, limited rights. Total equality. Female operative chance. Personality called communal decision making. Ah, we can't do that one. Will the people more daily? Oh, well, that's not bad. You lose slightly more political power, but you get more daily combat support, which is okay. But less supply consumption is not bad too. Sounds like we have to take that out anyways. But in the meantime, we gotta go with this one. Steel mill construction speed. No, I always use IPG fob, and I always think that's just the best one to do. So yeah, just keep building, keep building, keep building, keep building. When you're done, don't stop building. Nice. It should be more than enough to hold the line here, hopefully. Bombers, sure. Why not? Any fighters? Early transport planes, dive bombers. Oh yes, please. You guys, go there for now. Eight. Nice, good stuff. Anti-fascist raids. Nothing there yet. And it'll pop up very soon. Nice. Very good. So how are the technocrats? Um, 
so you guys are guaranteed by the French, guaranteed by the French and the Canadians, guaranteed by a whole bunch of people. We'll see what happens when everyone else goes to war with each other. Oh, we also sent you guys here. Dang it, I forgot about this. I sent them volunteers, but I forgot about it. My bad. Well, I guess we still send them some planes. Oh, well, only eh, 20 planes is not really worth sending anything over. Can't really do much with 20 planes. There we go. And good. And what else? I guess I should have done this one earlier, but we're going to go with him anyways. I guess it's more armor speed. Should have got him earlier, but whatever. As I said, I'm not playing this very optimally at all. I need more rubber, though. Build, 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 build. Ooh, radar might be actually really beneficial, too. Because we will be going to war in less than 40 days, which would be very nice. You guys come over here. Good. Do that, give them seats, and then get another research slot. Revive, they're a revive the Yuran project. Usually I focus a lot more on the industrial part here, but apparently not in this campaign. The Yuran project, also known as Uranium Club, had essentially been dissolved under the invasion of Poland and the conscription of scientists into the military. Revive this problem by bringing scientists, <clears throat> excuse me, out of the military. Maybe a worthwhile adventure for our scientific output. Absolutely. How's we have a little bit more coffee too? <sighs> Tasty. Yeah. Oh, even better radar. Good, good, good. Anything here? Uh, grab some armor because we can. Actually, can we make some heavy tanks? Because you pull, throw them as like flamethrower companies, I think. We'll see. We'll get there eventually. I'll double check that. Yeah, ROM will be fine, but. Actually, can we do mobile warfare? Maybe we can. Yeah, we can't do that one, focus, so there's no point in waiting for him. So this one's not going to be available. This is not bad recovery. It's not bad for a guy. So I'm probably going to uh, von Rundstedt. Oh, another tank. Not bad. Exercises. Nice. Good. And we're probably going to talk. All right. We'll see what happens. I would. Oh my gosh. Jesus. I love it. 1938. Oh, logistics. Yeah. Four, five, six. That guy. It's fine for now. Two divisions. Would we actually be able to hold them off? Maybe. That's a definite maybe. And they're going to be led by Von Klusha. More art attack. Not bad. And for the third time in this episode, let's save. Just because we can. If we can unify with Austria, that'd be great. But yeah, with this way... We're probably going to go spread the revolution. We don't get Austria anyways. Well, yeah, we don't get them anyway, so that's fine. Safeguard neutrality. So, we'll see. Not guaranteed by anybody, so... We're in offensive war. I do not plan on attacking them. They're probably going to... Oh. Yeah, sure. The Soviet Union wants us to join them. Interesting. Not necessarily going to, but interesting regardless. Eight. Director fires, okay. <clears throat> Give him a little bit of time. Let the Italians get on the on the uh, the forts here too. Actually, why are they looking so weak right here? Can we actually do anything here? I mean I guess, yeah. Tile by tile, I guess. Ah, they do have quite a few planes, which sucks. Ah, for you guys. Hunters. Dive bombers. She got that down. There we go. Not bad. Um, doing a general attack would be quite terrible right now. The means, not bad. 38. Looks a little more on the naval stuff for now. 39. Eh, it's not bad to do. We'll grab one of these things if you really wanted to. Grab some of this stuff too. In all honesty, attacking right here and going down here would be pretty good. If we could. Fighting the mounds. These guys aren't super great either. It's alright. 
Surprised I haven't wanted us to, to attack us. Oh, there we go. I was, I was gonna say, like, I'm surprised I haven't wanted to attack us anymore, and they already have. Just in case, go and stop training. You never know where the Italian Navy might be, so. Good God, are they. Some of them are forcing the attack, too. Nice. Exactly what we wanted. You're, you're, holding, you're, holding. you're gonna reinforce the line here, too. If you need to. Alright, anything else here? Construction speed? Yes. Oh, did we take a tile? No. No, we didn't. Okay. It just looked a little funkier than normal. That war propaganda sounds pretty good to us. I love propaganda. I am propaganda. Oh, that sucks. Not bad. Get another one. You already have ambush, which is really good. Losses, 12,000. 131,000. Still attacking us, nice. Austrians look like they might already be out of equipment. These guys, half a million manpower. Ah, another research slot, because why not? All right, uh, what do we want next? Further revolution. We have a rearmament, it's only 35 days, it's not bad. About Reich's Autobahn. Since its inception in 1933, the Reich's Autobahn project has been a glorious success. The construction efforts have reduced unemployment, and the wide road stands as a monument to Germany's economic recovery. Much work remains to be done, however. Good God, another research slot. That is insane. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, just take all the motorized over here. Honestly, how many more can we get? None? Maybe the last one we make, probably. Well, they don't attack. Force them to attack, basically. 30% is not very good, though. It's an offensive war, minus 20%. Enemy bombings. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Okay, so now y'all hold anyways. They're gonna attack us again, yay! Look at that ar army XP. Yeah, keep these way more planes. Keep making more military factories and whatnot. Airplane catapults, not bad. Um, 1938. I grab this, too. Losses, not bad. Yeah, where are we on this? Light tanks, we could use way more light tanks. Uh, it's not bad for everything here. Not too shabby. Giving you guys a lot of experience, so that's why we can use all this experience for later. Not bad. Next generation chance, yes, yes. Learn more. Over here. Airborne assault. Um, I don't want to choose. I can't choose Rommel, obviously. Air XP, Division Attrition is not bad. Max range, oh, uh, Gulch Barrel, yeah. Modernized air support. Uh, I don't think we can do that one. Did we actually lose? I think we lost the Air Force Focus Tree. Yeah, we lost it too, so we can't choose him. Dang it. Oh, whatever. Privatize the Rex Spawn. Uh, the first step of recovering our infrastructure will be revitalizing the rail system via privatization. I was going to attack, but okay. Military build-up. Yeah, you're not a problem. A uh, program, not a problem. Combat reports, anything here? Nah. Not really. Seize. Oh, that sucks. Radar's good. Keep it. Fourth International. Combat service report, not bad. It's still 1930. Jaegers. Recovery rate, sure. It's not going to help us out that much, but whatever. We'll also take it. We've only killed off a quarter million soldiers, so... Oh, is Hungary considered a major power, too? 30,000 manpower. They're running out. They're... Oh, you guys are already out. Oh, uh, but they're disarmed. I mean, that makes sense. Treaty of Tree and is pretty devastating to the Hungary. You can see why they're so... They were so pissed off. Aluminum. Very nice. Rubber, yes. Oh, an actual rubber plant would be very good, too. Good God. Researching so much, so fast. I love it. Yeah, can't use him. Interception. I never choose interception. I might choose interception, actually. 
You know what? Okay, why not? Milsh, we like milk. Logistics ones, nice. Uh, Manus, yeah, I can throw them on our tanks. That'd be good. I don't want to throw too many more divisions over here just because I want them to still be baited to attacking us. So you, let's try this again. Do we have another? Oh yeah, we do. Holy crap. At this point, we're going to start researching it. It's a couple things ahead of time. It's fine. He's a bigger industry still, though. Even though we're already on war economy, still. They have lost 300,000 in total. Not much. Strikes? Oh, crap. That's not good. If you're going to build strikes, please go right ahead. Uh, we lose a lot of political power, but it's okay. Do this first. So we actually could take the towel. That'd be kind of impressive if we, if we could. Oh, and the UK is killing all the Irish again. Pretty normal. Nice. So not a lot of divisions down here, but I'd love to take this tile as much as I possibly could. Can we actually take that? It's only three divisions. Four divisions. Could we? Maybe. Fall Dublin. Eh, yeah, Fall Dublin. Go here too. Privatize it. Finish the Reinhardt program. The Reinhardt program's direct investment in infrastructure will yield great results. As it should. Ooh. We can always raise soldiers over there if we need to, anyways. Uh, get more fuel. Well, looks like we should do okay. <coughs> Send the tanks over here if we really want to, really quickly. The Soviets still want us. I love it. We're so wanted. The Wild Ace Spear is cool. Not bad. Need more cities, though. And there go the Irish. Anything else here? Yes. More organization would be very good. They're still attacking there, which is fine. Whatever. Ships. Getting battleship. Nice. Pretty good. Anything here? Nope. Level 6 already. Jesus. You guys, adaptable, yeah. Ter ter terrain penalty reduction is very good. Very, 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 very good. Uh, lower this by a little bit more. We definitely could import a little bit more rubber. Because, my god, we're going to need more plants. Here's on the production front. If you're going to do that, please go ahead. More stability is good. Oh, that sucks. Motorized. I think I'm done making motorized for now. More tanks. A little bit. Can we actually move out this way, perhaps? Nice. There we go. But yeah, I'll keep doing stuff like this. I'll probably do more, finish this one off screen a little bit more. Um, rocketry, nuclear stuff, basic plants. We'll probably spread the revolution. Every if we're surviving in the future, it's of the utmost importance that we are surround ourselves with friends, not enemies. We can accomplish this by either skillful diplomacy or brutal force. Either way, the revolution must live on. Naval rearmament. The Anglo-German naval agreement we secured in 1935 allows us to expand our navy greatly. We should spare no effort in doing so. And it was pretty good. To support the Volksgemeinschaft, our people's community. It will assist us in unifying and empowering the Germanic people of Europe and the world. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow when we will hopefully take out these Central and Southern Europeans and see what else we can do to spread the revolution. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.